A plumber is only as good as his music. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 Mario songs and themes. For this list, we'll be putting on our headphones and humming along with the best music to come from the Super Mario Bros. franchises. The overworlds, the airships, the castles, and even the carts and their insane racetracks are ready to be added to your playlist. You good to go? Let's jam! Number 10, Overworld Theme, Super Mario Bros. 2. Super Mario Bros. 2 is an oddity in the main series. We know that it's technically just a reskinned version of Doki Doki Panic, but at the time we were expecting a follow-up to the green pipes, flagpoles, and castles. Instead, we kind of just fall into this, literally. But as we're falling down the rabbit hole of sorts, we hear a pleasant tune. It's upbeat and easy to whistle along to, and when we land on the ground, we find ourselves in a brand new world full of shy guys and vegetables. Ironically, we would later hear the same theme music in another oddity in the Mario universe. Me and my brother Luigi had just rescued Princess Toadstool from King Koopa, and were looking for the magic that would set her kingdom free and get us home to Brooklyn. Number 9. Fever, Dr. Mario. Didn't you know? Mario can write you a prescription, or at least show you how to stack pills in Tetris-like fashion. When using your medicinal skills to rid the player of viruses, you have a choice between two themes, chill and our pick for number 9. It's the kind of music you'd expect to hear from a quirky cartoon series about a doctor, which is definitely preferable to that funky commercial about said doctor. The tune gets an updated version for the Smash Brothers series, as Dr. Mario makes his opponents take two punches and call him in the morning. Number 8, Electrodrome, Mario Kart 8. There's a lot of things we've come to expect from the Mario Kart franchise. Crazy racetracks that nobody should be driving on, our irritation towards different colored turtle shells, and of course, the music. Electrodrome is a stage that feels like we're driving through a nightclub, complete with speakers on the walls, dancing Koopas, fretboards, a giant disco ball, and cold-hearted women that won't pay attention to us. Uh, maybe not that last part. But what really captures that nightlife atmosphere is the music and its bump and techno beat, especially during the final lap. If only we could jump out of the cart and dance when we cross the finish line. Just kidding, we're too shy for that. Number 7, Underground Theme, Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island. Ever since our first adventures through the Mushroom Kingdom, there's always been a cool tune to listen to when we take that pipe and end up underground. To us, the epitome of cool was this particular underground theme in the happy-go-lucky and surprisingly challenging Yoshi's Island. After being introduced to the cute coloring book style and frolicking through the sunshine with smiling flowers, this was not the music we expected to hear, but there it was, the most chilled out underground theme in the Mario franchise, until a certain baby cried and ruined it for us. Number 6, Castle Theme, Super Mario World. Ah, Yoshi's Island. It's bright and colorful with happy tunes as you ride on a friendly dinosaur. Then, suddenly, up ahead there's a castle. It doesn't look that daunting, but then the music starts. Any Mario player knows that castles are bad news, but this theme is foreboding and downright chilling. Each note feels like a warning of what's to come. Lava, spikes, chainsaws, giant pillars that try to crush you, bottomless pits, jeez, no wonder Yoshi stays outside. Well, except in Mario Maker. We know you're scared, Yoshi, but you gotta admit, this drum beat is on point. Number 5, Forest Maze, Super Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars. Before 
before Disney combined its powers with Square Enix, there was one other franchise that became an unlikely RPG. Back before Squaresoft became Square Enix, they took hold of everyone's favorite plumber. What started as a typical Save the Princess story becomes an incredible RPG, full of lovable characters, fun gameplay, and incredible music, of course. It's actually difficult to pick a favorite tune, but in the end, we have to give it to the forest. You can feel the subtle tones of mystery and curiosity, while at the same time remaining upbeat and charming, which is admittedly not an easy emotion for composers to try and capture in their work. Yet, first-time Mario composer Yoko Shimomura didn't just capture the tone, he defined it. Number 4, The Bomb Battlefield, Super Mario 64. There's a lot riding on the first level of the Mario game. Not only does it have to be fun, but the music has to be a tune we're going to want to listen to over and over again since the songs tend to appear in other levels. <laughs> Fortunately, this melody lived up to our expectations, so much so that even Mario Galaxy 2 paid homage to it by remaking the game's second stage, Womp Fortress. <laughs> The song was perfect for a first level, especially a level where we could jump around and wahoo to the beat. Number 3, Gusty Garden Galaxy, Super Mario Galaxy. Yes! As always with a new Nintendo console, we expected a new Mario adventure. Better graphics, bigger worlds, and for the purposes of this list, the memorable soundtrack. the bar was skyrocketed into space with Galaxy's fully orchestrated music. While every Galaxy track is worth a listen, or 10, the music from Gusty Garden Galaxy exemplifies all of our excitement with the series. Triumphant horns, soothing harps, and violins that encourage you to flick your Wiimote and take to the skies. Honestly, this music spoiled us for any other platformer we played that year, or for the years to come. Number 2, Dire Dire Docks, Super Mario 64. Aha! The downside to Mario 64's water levels is the fact that, for the first time, Mario could drown. The upside? The music. Of course, the levels looked great, but that music is what made us want to submerge ourselves in the water. As we swam around the deep depths of the sea, the music became more exciting, encouraging us to go a little further even if we were running low on air. After exploring the waters and discovering underground caves, sunken ships, and even Bowser's submarine, the music increased in tempo. Before the music speeds up because we're running out of time, let's hear it for these honorable mentions. Super Mario Brothers. Sometimes you just gotta turn to the classics. This is the music that made Mario and Nintendo a household name. Even if you're not a gamer, this is definitely a song you recognize. A song you're probably humming along to as you're telling us in the comments that it better be number one. not Mojoholics, we know that this theme is the epitome of Mario, and it's no surprise that variations of it sneak into other Mario titles, whether it's the full track or just the beginning. Yes! It's catchy, it's classic, it's a simply Mario. Do you agree with
with our list, which Mario tunes do you keep saved in your gaming playlist? For more musical top tens published every day, grab a hold of that power star and subscribe to watchmojo.com.